Um, anyway, okay, so literally all you have to do to drag this in, or excuse me, put it in actual Photoshop, you have to save it or anything like that. All you can literally do is just drag it in, just take that one clip here, uh, clip, you know what I meant, path, right? And uh, drag it right in like that, and that's totally not how you do it. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did that not work? Oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, okay. What is going on guys? It is your boy Sosa here, bringing guys a video here today, bringing guys a Photoshop slash, I believe, Illustrator tour here today because I'm going to do like a quick little three minute thing in Illustrator for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, it's we're just going to be showing guys how to make this really cool, very, very super clean, simplistic, cool little wave design. Um, I don't know, I, I just, I hella like really fuck with the vibe, like it's super, super dope. And uh, my opinion, I think you're gonna really like it. So hopefully you guys do. Um, yeah, I do have a hundred T apparel on. The homie sent it to me. I have a bunch. Like, come on. Like, they're, they're, I'm so happy. Um, I also have lights behind me now. So if the lighting's a bit awkward, I have to figure that out because it's also kind of late now. But uh, yeah, I'll probably like figure that out so it doesn't look so weird and ghosty. I put a color correction on it. I don't know. I have any clue if it doesn't even bother you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing going for you guys. Like I said, we're gonna. Uh, start off in Illustrator, um, just simply to do these cool little line things. I personally don't know if there's a way to do them um, as easily and as accurate to how Illustrator does it, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Um, straight up, I, I'm, I'm personally a fan of it, and uh, yeah, let's go, let's, get, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Um, two likes on the video, equals a secret down below, as always, guys. And if you're new to this, uh, almost into the stream, new to the, uh, the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We're trying to hit the 100k, we're super close, so uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So let's go get this thing going right here, right now. So I'm gonna jump into Illustrator right here. Um, if you guys care to know, it probably doesn't really matter at all, honestly. But I'm in the 3,000 by 3,000, probably overkill. I just use this all the time. Um, ever since I started using Illustrator for some reason. Um, anyway, so the only thing you really need to do is just make a simple shape. Now you can do this. Now let me just quickly run, just quick things right by, really quick. Uh, right quick, right quick, right quick. Um, let me turn this off for some reason. I was playing around with this. Let me turn this off for a second. And for the record right you can either use a straight line you can do duplicates with it I'm, I'm gonna go over this with you guys in a second here but just for the sake of just understanding and knowing um there's a there's there's way way more stuff you can do and like cool little vibes and sort of like uh just cool little textures excuse me i guess assets or something like you can go for so don't be afraid to do them um there's just there's way too many for me to like go over in this sense but i'm going i'm doing very specific and very just sort of uh I guess you know pinpoint things so don't just just be just be under like understand there's way more to do still okay um but yeah i'm just gonna just now well, we'll get this thing going for you guys right now so you guys just let me do that so that's what we're gonna basically be doing we're gonna be making a very cool sort of like one pen tool see so th this one shape here this is actually just one stroke just multiplied over with the transform tool so what we're gonna do is going in illustrator now i did s i totally like uh if you guys know swerve uh tutorial uh tutorial is to do this really cool wave tutorial and I just thought like this would look so dope on a banner. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly a very quick sort of two minute thing. It's not going to take long whatsoever. Um, so for this, I'm just going to do a, you know, a nice, very simple, curvy kind of, of a pen tool marking here. Right. So that's, that's literally all I've done. I'm going to drag it to the bottom for a second. Uh, only reason is just so you can see when I do the horizontal, uh, the copies right so with this little pencil mark here now you can go crazy you can go whatever you can even mix this in with the particle effects tutorial that i did like way back in the past um so simply you just want to highlight this now or if you want to just select the actual target mark that's all uh, also what you can do you can go to effect then you want to go to where it says distort and transform and you want to go to word transform here you want to turn on the preview obviously and put the uh copies about 20. so now i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my move and i'm gonna move it vertically uh this way negative so i can go up uh, just something like this now if you want to mess around with the horizontal like I said before uh, I mean it, it really all depends on what you know kind of trial and error kind of thing You can definitely have a lot of fun with this It's gonna come out with a lot of you guys if you're doing like album cover videos, excuse me videos You know uh, album cover art. I see a lot of you guys do that in my uh, uh, do you say my portfolio review so maybe you guys will really like that as well like this like kind of style here Um, but for the record this is literally all you have to really do here So I'm just gonna put that we'll make the copies a little bit less because we don't need that many and I'll say press ok and then that's the that's the shape we're gonna be using. So literally, 
that's all we're gonna be doing in today's video here just this for this one little asset here is pretty much all you're gonna really need right so just so you guys know how you do it and we're gonna jump into Photoshop right now and uh, yeah hopefully that that helps right very simple kind of just make a make a path make it into a uh, transform excuse me and copies and just mess around with the uh, angles and such so um yeah not too hard so I'm gonna jump into Photoshop now because this is really quickly and also I might just give you guys this one here as like a little uh, PNG for you guys to use as well just in case you don't have Illustrator or whatnot um yeah so yeah let's just jump into Photoshop now now for sure <laughs> All right, guys, so before we move into Photoshop, really quickly, the one thing you want to do before you actually drag this baby in is you want to highlight it, make sure you go to Object, uh, Expand Appearance, and once you expand Appearance, it becomes no longer like a little shadow kind of thing. It's only going to kind of drag one of them. It's going to drag all the different copies that you just basically made with that cool little uh, shortcut, and we're going to just simply just drag it, and you can drag it right into Photoshop just like so. We don't make any mistakes ever, so there's no way in hell that I didn't forget to do that. Um, okay, so... If, I, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I probably took it out because it was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so, really quickly, also, whoa, uh, really quickly, there was a suggestion like two videos ago or something like that. They were, they were saying, hey, like, what shortcuts do you use? Because sometimes it's kind of hard to follow because I don't, you don't say it every single time. I know I say it like, at least definitely once when I'm doing definitely with the shortcuts, um, at least once or twice with the video, but I kind of just figured you kind of pick it up after watching X amount of videos, but that's also unfair for people who don't watch all the time, but is there a program out there? I know there's like a Mac like a feature and whatnot you can show the shortcuts but that's not like super abrupt i don't want it to take up like literally like a quarter of my damn screen in the bottom here um really i probably could have asked this on twitter but do you guys know like a little shortcut that can just like say hey this is control you know plus r or whatever it, you know what i'm what i'm pressing basically i don't know if there actually is one for uh, desktop but if there is let me know if it's trusted and whatnot and uh yeah let's go and get this thing going so control t is how i brought up this free transform box that is control plus T, okay, control and T. Um, you're gonna just, let me just take this right hand corner here and I'm gonna drag this, move this to the left hand side. That way it can kind of like get this on a nice little angle here. Now, I'm not gonna exactly copy what I did here. I did, I definitely did a different, uh, different, excuse me, um, sort of like, you know, pattern or wave or whatever, but we're just gonna say, we're gonna roll with this for now. <clears throat> so we're gonna put this baby on the top, like, excuse me, I'm gonna rotate a little more. I'll say like right around here, this is fine. Now, also let me just drag in this stuff that we're gonna uh, definitely need. So that's definitely, we're gonna write the word wave. Um, the uh, font is called Plate uh, Platea. You guys should probably know if you guys watched my 2019 uh, font pack video. It's a very, very dope font. I appreciate it very much. And I, this is the one I'm using currently. And so uh, I do actually have the uh, layer style pasted so that I can just do it for you guys really quickly. Now this is a very, very clean effect layer style as you can see here if I turn it on and off. It just has this very, very nice vibe. It also has this really cool sharpness to it, which doesn't make the text look boring, nor does it make it look just kind of like a, uh, it just makes it look sharp and demanding, right? So, excuse me, the way I did that was I have on the uh, gradient overlay, right here is a very nice uh, uh, grayish tone with like a blue as well to like a nice simple like white, but not pure white. So this hex code for the gray is actually C, D, D, A, D, F. And so that's press okay. If you guys wanna just choose to put that in your actual hex code box, you'll get the same exact colors that I have right here. If you guys need to pause the video, of course, pause it. Um, and then the right hand side here for the actual highlights, this is, or in this case, basically more or less just like a, a, a color shift. Um, the hex code is F0F8FA, press OK, and also this little middle piece here, this is where it kind of like tells you, hey, which, like how much is sharing, so I do have the gray overtaking more of the white space here, so that's what I kind of do have there, and press OK. And then I do also have an inner glow. This is just simple old whites with a very simple size of zero, uh, choke of zero, excuse me, size of six, choke of zero. And then you'll pass these at 100%, all that cool stuff. That's gonna give you this really cool little, nice little, I'm gonna, let me zoom in really quick. Nice little highlight too. So if I turn it on and off, you can see, looks like just a very, very clean highlight, but then adding a stroke on as well with a one size is actually adding a lot more as well. Uh, let me just see if I can turn it on and off for you guys to kind of see. It, it's a little bit harder to see because it is kind of hiding over um, excuse me, I guess you say under the uh, inner glow in a sense, but when you zoom out, you definitely see a difference when you do see the stroke. It, it just kind of like highlights everything and makes it almost just like very unified right now, right? So now that the wave is done here, I'm going to do one more thing on the bottom. I believe I said vibes, right? <clears throat> Did I actually make the same font? No, I use, oh, I use the other font from the um, video, right? Uh, Arame, right? That's how you say it. Take this here. And then we're just gonna take this, split this apart, just like so with the VA table. Also, a lot of you guys ask me how do you get the character table, literally go to Windows, Character, and that's how you split the letters here, VA. Very, very handy. I believe the first day I found that out, I almost cried because I was uh, still doing it hand by hand. Okay, um, and I'll make this a nice gradient for now, just right here, right now, just like so. Perfect. So, 
Now we have a little wave, just just simply alone with the text itself and like this very, just the, the simple little vibes word, or in this case, it'd be your subtext and or Twitter and or whatever you want it to be. Um, it's just, how does that not look dope? Um, okay, so now you guys are wondering how to get color on this. Obviously, you guys saw me do the green overlay on the word vibes. It's exactly the same thing I'm going to do on the actual little, uh, how are you going to call these things? We're just going to call them, um, we'll call it asset, right? All right, there we go. So I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gradient overlay and throw on the gradient that I have here. Now this gradient here is a yellow to pink. You can do any color you want. I would say blue to green looks really good. Orange to like, I don't know, blue looks pretty good sometimes as well. And it just all depends really honestly. Um, but this hex code for the yellow is FFE32A. And then for the pink here that I have is hex code uh, F2206A, press OK. So if you guys have these two colors nice and just kind of like all ready to go, I also do have it overpowering the yellow more. I want it to be more bled into the purple so it's not so, or pink in this case, uh, not be so like, you know, harsh or whatnot. I've been keeping this around 124 for about a while now. And I just like it more because I kind of feel like the highlights need to be showing, uh, sh uh, showcase more, um, vibrancy or or, or or pull out the actual definition of the highlight a lot more sometimes and i'm finding that just kind of like that fits my style the most if you guys don't know what i mean if you guys ever know about gradients one side is highlights the other side is shadows and that's kind of how it balances out but in this case right here it's just more or less using it as a color shifting so don't ever mix it up too much because once you kind of learn what gradients are and how to work them that's when they become your best friends and i promise that so right here that's what we're going here we're going to also put one oh, we're going to put one over here just like Let's say like right here, okay? And if I need to, I can like kind of just take it and just do a little skew to it. If I want to control shift T, right? Oh, it's not control shift T, control T, right click, skew. If I want to like skew it a little bit, I can give it a little bit of a different angle. If it doesn't look good, maybe I can just take this here, oops. And uh, just regular, just use regular uh, free transform, just make it a little bit wider or bigger, why not, right? And I'll say this looks pretty good here. Now, for the sake of just making it look different, I did use a uh, different color. So this one here is actually a nice little blue. This is this uh, gradient is a little more complicated, I guess you would say. But honestly, you don't really need even this right here. I'm gonna delete this for now. I'll just do this right here. And this one here, we'll put this like so. Okay, looks pretty good. And this is more of like a dark blue to a nice little lighter blue. And hex codes for this one, if you guys would like to copy it, it is 0B70A7, press okay. And then the nice little like very nice baby bluish kind of tone, royal blue. Um, is 2AD2F8. So if you guys copy those hex codes, like I said before, you get the same exact colors that I have. Press OK. Press OK again. And now we have that there. I believe I put one on uh, the top. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to split this a little bit more so make it a light, a light more, a uh, lot more longer, excuse me, so it can cover more area. And maybe even flip it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, okay. Now, also, don't be afraid as well to go back in. Like, this is right now, I'm only saying that because I'm not finding it that I probably definitely did a different sort of, uh, you know, squiggly, I guess you would say. I probably add another squiggle. Um, what I mean by squiggle is like another point when I did this little thing over here for the uh, illustrator, right? This little part here, uh, right? I probably did another sort of like, like another one, right? Um, simply because it's just kind of finding me a little bit hard for me for like to do this over for some reason. Uh, but maybe I did this. Maybe I did something like this, right? Let's see. I'm just trying to get this like top part just kind of like be seen. Kind of have this. Maybe like this. We'll just leave it like that for now. That doesn't look terrible. Um, it just definitely, def it just definitely a trial and error thing for sure. I'm just really curious to what it is, but geez, it's bugging the hell out of me. Anyway, okay. So now this is pretty much done. You guys are wondering like maybe how the hell I possibly make the background look pretty cool. Cause honestly, this is, this entire design is really, really awkward without the actual background. Um, yeah, the background just makes it look just so much way, way, way more prettier than actually it is kind of thing. Um, so for the background here, all I ended up doing was taking this asset thing again here. What I ended up doing is I made it pretty big. And then for some reason I decided to skew it and I'm just going to go ahead and just skew it this way. Just a really, really random skew. Something like this is exactly almost when I, what I had. Um, be, for the record, by the way, I said this at the beginning of the video, hopefully I believe so. Um, you can just tell that this is just not, this is not, this is scratching almost nothing of what this style can really do for you. Um, I see a lot of different things in my head right now. If I could just like make the uh, separation or the, 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 the copies themselves, like have more space between them. And you did something like this right here. You can definitely say like, hey, each inside each one of these things right here, right? You can kind of have like a picture or something like that, or like another texture or pattern, or maybe you can have like a really cool, like, like a weaving pattern thing. 
I'm going to tell you guys for sure this style is going to come back in for sure, but just for the sake of just for you guys to explore it yourselves and maybe create your own styles before I end up doing it because, you know, your boy. Um, I can definitely tell you, like, just like, damn. That's all I'm going to say is damn. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just drag this on below. I'm just going to drag it below everything. We're going to call it BG for now. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up just kind of like putting it into position. That way I can make a duplicate of it and put another one kind of in a, in a, in a spot where it doesn't look too, too harshly copied in a sense of, of just, I'm going to make it pretty big and let me get rid of this. So it's not too bothering because I can see it through, but maybe you guys are just struggling a little bit, but I'm just kind of, I want to do something like that. So it doesn't look like it was copied. You know what I mean? When I sense like copy, like copied over where you can't really see, uh, you can see that it was definitely two different things. It's just something like spaced evenly, right? So this right here is perfect for me. And honestly, this is super trippy. Also really damn cool, but I need to honestly get rid of this right now. Okay. All right. So now that you guys have this here, what I ended up doing was I went over here to the gradient overlay and I took this gradient overlay and I made it a very cool, I believe it was like a grayish, uh, I believe it was this one almost like a grayish black. So the black here is actually a pure black. And then for the grayish tone here, it's hex code. It also has a little bit of hint of blue. It's three, five, three, nine, four, three. Press okay, press okay again. Press okay as well, one more time. And then lastly, what I ended up doing was go to filter, blur, you probably guessed it, motion blur, okay? Now for the motion blur here, I have my distance all the way to 2000. I didn't actually use that. I use more or less something around, angle needs to change as well. Something like this. Now. Damn, does that look way better than my original? Uh, the background is, at least looks really freaking cool. Damn, okay, so you can see, but just changing your angle around to kind of get different sort of, um, I guess you would say almost, it almost feels like almost like a sound, what is it called? Sound waves, right? Almost feels like that. So I'm gonna press okay. I think it looks fucking badass. What? All right, just come on. All right, seriously though. Um, one thing I'm not liking is the fact that this is just not the same as I had it before. And I know I, I, I put it in a different position or some, I did something different that's just not coming to me right now, but we're just going to keep it. I guess I want to keep messing with it. You know what I mean? At the top or over here is what I mean. Uh, to match like this over there. What I probably do is I made, probably made it so damn big, right? And I made it go like that. Did I do something like this? Strong chance, strong chance. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. All right. I should stop playing with this. I'm making the video way too long for you guys. Um... Okay, one more time. I should probably stop. All right, there we go. I feel like I'm getting it. I feel like I'm getting it. <clears throat> All right, that looks pretty good for now. Anyway, just for the sake of just kind of stopping to do it, but you can definitely mess around a lot. And also personally, I'm not showing them because I kind of just want to, like I said, again, I'm probably going to have another video on this kind of style here. But last but not least is the cool little sort of like inner glow, or excuse me, uh, inner shadow, sort of like cool little in like in captivating the actual, uh, in captivating or captivating the actual assets themselves. And the way I actually did that was I'm going to make a do layer. I'm going to use my pen tool here. Now this part here doesn't have to be exact. You can just kind of like freely kind of just figure uh, or, or kind of just loosely copy exactly the way, loosely copy exactly, uh, loosely kind of like uh, mimic the actual angles that you went for here. So you're probably going to end up coming out with the same exact shape or, you know, you know, amount of curves and uh, uh, anchor points that you did in the illustrator uh, portion of this video here. And if I zoom out, right, I'm going to go all the way around this side here, not on the opposite side, because I want to basically uh, kind of, all the reason why I'm going around the actual canvas here is for when I right click, make a selection press OK. It's going to select everything only in this portion here because I want to fill in in this side, correct? So I'm going to take my brush here, make it a black brush on my foreground color. And for the hardness, make sure it's at zero. So make sure you just write at zero. A lot of you guys ask me, how do I do this, by the way? Uh, make my brush bigger and smaller. Hold Alt, literally just Alt, and move your mouse right, uh, right click, excuse me, and then move your mouse left and right for the actual diameter, which is the size, and up and down is your hardness. So a lot of you guys ask me that. So my diameter is around 700. I also made a 3000 by 1000 uh, dimension uh, banner size here. Now I'm going to just simply kind of just take my black and only go on like one side here and then the other side around here. Right? And I'm going to control D to deselect. Now, what I don't want to do is you can definitely have it look like this, which looks super, super cool, but I found it really, really cool when you kind of erase the middle of it or just had it like flow in only one sort of spot. That way it kind of felt more like just kind of like follow the whole wave thing. So I'm going to do one more layer again, or I'm going to do two more layers technically, right? I'm going to do this one here and just come out here. So I think that looks pretty okay. I'm going to zoom out for a second and bring this up a little bit. And I'll say that's pretty perfectly fine for now. Go around and then connect it. 
right click make selection i'm gonna do layer i'm making sure uh take my brush i'm just gonna do it on maybe like right here we'll do it right here right very simple kind of thing right there and i would say that kind of doesn't look really good at the bottom here i'm gonna say hey i'm gonna delete it just a little bit right there and i think it looks pretty good i probably gotta done it over but for now make a new layer again take my pen tool again and then mimic this one right here the shape so i'm gonna do this here i think it looks pretty good go around connect it make a new uh excuse me make a selection press ok brush and then we're gonna take this brush here and then just kind of say hey we want a lot of black right there and then maybe at the end again right here i'm gonna skip the middle right so it looks pretty damn good okay cool um let's put the uh where's the text at there it is put, i believe the text is already in the middle but i feel like it's not uh visually in the middle anymore i would say right about like yeah, right about there or so but uh pretty much that's about it now i'm curious to, i'm just kind of curious right now for me just personally because i didn't do this i don't think before um oops i forgot to group the background as well hold on i'm grouping everything really quick Control j Control e to merge it all together don't follow me this i'm just like really quickly just seeing if this works i'm just a little bit curious now i'm gonna go ahead and in my uh color filter uh camera filter raw i'm gonna just quickly see if this works i should probably check before but whatever uh group this in or let me zoom this in click this y to look at a preview now if i do clarity how sick would the background look and then i put the vibrance up a little bit as well to put the color up maybe the blacks just shrink them down a little bit and then oh damn okay okay it could definitely look pretty cool. I'm telling you, I'm personally seeing a lot of different, uh, just different just ways this can be used. Definitely have a lot of fun with it. You can do a lot of different things with the twists and the assets themselves. Uh, straight up. I'm going to be very, very honest with you guys. I personally love this style. Hopefully you guys you do as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me today for the tutorial here today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Two and likes on a video equals a secret down below, which will most likely be a nice PSD of what you're seeing right here, right now. Um, I personally do like the backing so much more than I did this one uh just like like ouch like damn also i'm also noticing as well this one here has way more copies i believe this has almost about 15 the other one only had about nine or so uh so maybe that's what i'll do for like the the beginning you know starting soon thing is like take the background from this one and i like the assets from this one you see how like more th there should be definitely more copies i believe um but yeah, it still looks pretty cool. That's probably what, the one thing I'm missing in my head that's not clicking very well because I'm more or less trying to teach it and not really like understand and design it. Uh, but the, we definitely killed the background. Also, uh, the like I said before, the clarity is exactly what I wanted to look like. It almost kind of looks like a metal-y texture. Uh, God, it's like, damn, I'm happy about it. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, again, also subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already, excuse me. Also comment down anything you want to see me personally do. If you say, hey, so, so I like how this looks over here. Maybe you want to link it and or tweet it at me or whatnot. Maybe I'll do a next video on it. So that's how I get a lot of my video di uh, video ideas. Uh, without that being said, I guess we're pretty much done. 100 T Sesso is going to be out here. Um, Much love. Thank you guys so very much again. Talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Love you guys. Enjoy yourselves. Peace out.